5.1 define the term conservative force in words and give an example of such a force acting on block x conservative force is a force in which the work done in moving an object between two points is independent of the path taken right so that's the definition of a conservative force and then now let's go to the example of such a force acting on block x so in our context in our scope we only talk about one conservative force which is the gravitational force force of gravity or the weight right so here we're gonna have a force of gravity and 5.2 5.2 saying let's draw a free body diagram indicating all the forces parallel to the incline on the block so let's go through our statement so that we can you know see what is happening uh, so we have block x of mass 4 kg which is initially addressed at the bottom of an incline which makes an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal a 78.4 newtons force acting parallel to the incline pulls the block x up the incline Block X experiences a constant frictional force of 13 newtons. Right, so we are interested on the forces acting parallel the incline. We know that uh, we have a force applied, uh, which is uh, 78.4 newtons. And then we have a frictional force. Another force, which might not be obvious to some, is Fg parallel right because we know that we're gonna have weight going down and then we can resolve that to the perpendicular component and the parallel component and then if we do that then we're gonna have uh, another force here uh, which is uh, weight parallel going down the incline so we have fg parallel right fg parallel is always going down the incline so that is uh, what we asked you to do in 5.2 and uh, 5.3 um, using energy principles only calculate the speed of block x after it has moved three meters up the incline right so let's look at the information we have and see how we can approach this problem so we are we have the magnitude of force applied we have the magnitude of the frictional force we can determine fg parallel right so we can say that we basically have f net right and then we have delta x because uh, we want uh, the speed after the block is moved uh, three meters and then we have vi because we study and dress right and then we're looking for uh, we're looking for vf <laughs> um yeah i think that's all we have right from the information we have which formula can we use under energy principles right so we can say that uh, the work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy right but then we know that to find work net we can also say f net multiplied by delta x multiplied by cos of theta is equal to a half mv f squared minus a half mvi squared so let's go ahead and find f net so we can say that uh, f net is equal to so we have the force applied uh, minus the frictional force minus fg parallel right uh, we're doing all that so we can find uh, the f net so force applied uh, it is said to be 78.4 and then the frictional force is 13 uh, newtons right now we need to find uh, fg parallel the formula for fg parallel is uh, mg sine of theta right so what is the mass of our object uh, that is 4 kg multiplied by 9,8 multiplied by sine of 25 right so if we put that in our calculator uh, we should be able to find f net so let me just uh, do that real quick uh, so that we can see what we have here so sine of 25 so our f net is equals to 48.8334 newtons right right so now we can go ahead and substitute in our equation and um solve our problem so f net we say that f net is uh 
0.8334 and then delta x that is 3 right and then cos of 0 why am i seeing cos of 0 so f net is positive right so that means that it is going um up the incline and that's where our displacement is so the angle between f net and our displacement is zero right and that should all be equals to uh, a half uh, the mass is four kgs and then vf squared minus a half four kgs and the initial velocity we come in from rest right so that should be zero uh, we square that and yeah now we just need to solve for uh, vf squared you know the physics is essentially done here we're just solving the math so we're gonna have one four six point five zero zero two being equals to a half multiplied by four it will be two right two vf squared so now uh, it's easy to see that uh, vf will be equals to one four six point five zero zero two divided by two to the power f right uh, we're dividing both sides by two and uh taking a square root on both sides you know it's the same as uh, just taking something to the power a half and if we do that we get in a vf of 8.56 uh, meters per second